Hey everyone, welcome back to Sklearning. Today, we are going to walk through the process of downloading and installing Postman on Windows. Whether you are a developer or someone exploring a p-testing, Postman is a fantastic tool that simplifies the process. So, let's dive right in. Open your web browser and navigate to the official Postman website. Click on the download Postman URL once on the site. Locate and click on the download button. You'll be directed to the download page where you'll see different versions. Choose the appropriate version for your operating system, Windows, and click on the download button. Once the download is complete, locate the downloaded file, usually in the downloads folder. Double click, open on the installer to start the installation process. It will take some time to open. If you are new to Postman you can you know easily create a free account it's totally free or if you have account already so then you need to sign in you can just you know simply click on create a free account and it will redirect to the browser so here you can you know provide your email id username and password and Create a free account. I have already an account. You can sing up in with Google account. Now Now you are all set to sign in Postman. If it will take time to log in into Postman in Window app, you manually put the token and sing in. Now you are able to log in into Postman. You need to also create a workspace so for that you need to just simply hover over this click. Over this workspace I need to click on this create workspace so this will open this create workspace. You can choose any template. Here let's create the workspace as any name ok. You can give summary and all in here you need to choose personal. If you want to you know do a team collaboration. Project they need to choose team or if you want to keep it private or any other option like you can choose all that I am going to use it for. Personal naming at Uppy Testing Create Workspace. So our Uppy Testing Workspace is rightly created. Over here so you can just simply. I hope you find this tool as useful as I do. If you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover in a future video. Let. Me know in the, com may know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Sklearning for more tech tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.